Welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to create this window here. How to draw objects and freehand in Java. Here you can see the basics for drawing graphics in Java, based on this example program. First I have such a nice gradient. In this example from red over yellow to green. Then there are different objects. As an example I have chosen a circle. And then of course the freehand painting in Java. First in green, then maybe a nice red trunk, and finally something in blue, maybe a lake. Finished is our psychedelic picture. Now we look at how the whole thing can be implemented as Java code. Here we have a JFrame which I called Canvas. I have prepared this already once because I have already shown it in some videos. I link an example in this video. Here nevertheless briefly explained. A class Canvas extended from JFrame and imported the required components. I created container and prepared the buttons. Assigned C to the content pane in the constructor. And finally in the main, I create an object, made it visible and set the size and add the close operation. When we start this now, we have a normal JFrame window. Ok, how we draw now? We create a board for it. A new class called board. We extend it from JPanel and import the components. The painting function expect a two-dimensional array for the x and for the y axis of type integer and an integer array n for each step. Then as always the constructor. We create the integer array for three colors and the x and y for 10,000 points. That's it. Now it's time to paint. For this we have to overwrite the paint component function. And import missing packages. With super we call the constructor of the superclass. Then we create a new graphics 2D object and cast our graphics object G into it. So finished. We can paint now our first gradient. We set the start position for X and Y with 0 and 0. The start color is red. End position is 0 and 300 and as color yellow. Then we have to paint the whole thing and of course we have to choose an object that takes up the gradient. Therefore we choose a surface
with start position 0 and 0 for x and y and end position 600 and 300. That would be all to paint the gradient. We can have a look at this directly. Therefore we switch to the canvas class and create a new board object. We add this board B to the container and click run. There we already have our first gradient from red to yellow over half the window. Now we quickly create the second gradient. I simply copied it for myself quickly. We change the name. And the colors to yellow and green. And we change the positions to 0, 300, 0, 600 for X and Y. and 0, 300, 600, 600. Let's see what it's look like. And there we have a complete gradient as background. Now we will create the circle. We simply choose the color for the graphics object with set color. and paint the oval with starting position 200 and 200 and set the size to 300 and 300. We look at it and there it is. Beautiful! In the canvas class we write down the buttons directly. I make 5 copies and rename them accordingly. Circle, Gradient, Green, Red and Blue. Now we add all buttons. And we look at the result again. All buttons are there, but they don't have any function yet. Therefore we need some boolean, which can access with the buttons. 5 booleans for green boolean, red boolean, blue boolean, Gradient and Circle. Then we write a listener class to provide the buttons with functions. And the function Action Performed. This is made easy. If E gets source equal green,
then the green boolean should be true. Let's copy this five times and change the function for each button accordingly. At the end we call repaint for the board. Then we have to add the listener up here. We copy the whole thing again for all five buttons and change them. Now we look at the board class again. We add if statements so that the gradient is only shown after we click the button. And the same for the circles. If boolean circle from class canvas is true, For this the start values of the boolean must be all false. Nothing will be visible when starting. Only when I press the two buttons the gradient appears and then the circle. Next we make our buttons for painting. So free paint. If Kansas green button equal true, then paint something here. The same for the red button and for the blue button. First we choose a new stroke. Then the most important one, the color. And finally we have to paint the whole thing with draw polyline. This is where our integer array comes in. For the first color I choose 0 for all values. I copy all this. With the second I choose a thicker stroke. This color is of course red. And I choose one for the next object. The third one is blue. Stroke is eight and two for the third object. This should be here, of course, after the if statement. The last thing we will need here are the listeners. I write a new class, mlList, extend mouse motion adapter. And add the function mouse direct. If Kansas green boolean is true, then the green color is selected. So the first X and Y array. For this the current mouse position is queried.
I copy the whole thing for all three buttons and change the boolean in the number. At the end we have to add the listener above. And call the repaint function. And of course the mouse position must be saved for X and Y respectively. I start the class one last time. I have the gradient, the circle, you can paint something in green, something red in addition, and something in blue. That's it. If you like what you saw, give me a like and don't miss my other videos. Thanks for watching.